So you're in the middle of your hiring process for law enforcement. You already had your physical test. You already had your PT test. You had your orientation. You had your background check. You had your polygraph test. You had your home interview already. Now you just got to take your psyche vow. Psyche vow is going to be different for everybody. Every department, I'm going to tell you guys what my experience was when I went through it with Atlantic City. Um, show love to the channel. Like, share, subscribe. Let's go. All right, so I remember for my psych evaluation, I got the date. I got the time for it. Um, I had to show up. It was in Northfield, New Jersey. A little doctor's office. It wasn't even like a doctor's office. It was just a building that had uh, empty office space in there. Um, suit and tie. Show up. It was probably like 8 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock sometime in the morning. And it was me and three other guys, three, four other guys who they ended up going to the academy with my boys to this day. Good dudes. At the time, I don't really know these guys. I don't know them at all. Like, we're this is before the academy. This is before anything. So it's just kind of like we're just standing around talking like, yo, what's going on, blah, blah, this and that. Not a lot of talking. But again, remember what the line of work is. You don't, you're not going to go to these places and be real, like, you know, you're going to be, you're going to be, you're going to be uptight. You're going to be trying to be professional and things like that. So it's not really like a, a joking thing. Like, it's just kind of like, what's up, bro? Like, well, that's not waiting for the psychiatrist to show up. Dude ends up pulling up. We go inside and then we all go into this one room. And it's like a little, it's, a, it's like I said, it's just an open room. They have desks in their chairs and we're told to take a seat. We're going to have to take a test. Now, guy, the psychiatrist, he starts explaining the test and just what's going to happen in the next few hours because it's going to be a few hours. This this psych eval, bro, is long as hell. For me, I feel like <clears throat> I feel like it was like a four or five hour thing. Like I'm not I, I not exaggerating. It was a long ass day, and I remember you know we're sitting down. Every gives us a uh, pencil gives us a, like a scantron and a, a packet with all the questions and things like this and tells us to start <clears throat> now the one test it was like a 300 question test and a lot of these questions i remember i feel like they were just like per personality based like i work better around some other like some people strongly agree disagree just like it was like like those type of things and it was like 200, 300 questions. So, and they're asking the same type of things, just rewording it, rephrasing it because they want to see like just how, like if you're reading everything through, if you're, you know, not just bullshitting or whatever like that. So that's going to be, that's tough because you get tired. <laughs> you get tired, yo, you're on fucking question 77 and you're like, you, you want to skip past a couple questions. You want to try to just get through it, but don't do that. Like, I don't know how they tested, how they graded, but try to just really be as on point during that test because it's going to be a long, it's, it's, and yours may be different. I'm going to keep saying that your experience, your psyche valve may be different. You may not take a test. You may not have to do what I did. It may be different. So keep that in mind. <clears throat> so after we took the test, it was, and that took like an hour and a half, two hours. And then we may have gotten like a little break. I really don't, I don't I, we may have gotten a break. I don't know if we got to leave or, but then we got another test. <laughs> like that test was like another 175 questions, 200, like, and it's the same type of shit. So by that time, you know, you're tired. You want to end this shit. You want to just, but you got to keep going through the shit. After you finish that test, um, we had to meet with a psychiatrist. One by one, we all had to go in the room with him. And I don't know if he had like an application or he had some paperwork that we had filled out prior to uh, to meeting with him. But, you know, he sits at his desk. And he's going to start asking me questions. I'm asking me, like, one of the questions, he was like, what was a time in your life that was extremely difficult? And, like, how did you handle it? How did you go about it? And I gave him my response. I'm not going to go into it. I, I did give him my response or whatever. And, like, he is going to talk to you. Like, it's not going to be, like, a lecture type shit. But he'll ask you some shit. Like, and the point of those questions, I believe, is to make sure you're not fucking crazy. It's to, and I know people could 
bullshit psyche valves and to uh, fake them. Like people do that show. That people are nuts. I know it. But you have a conversation with somebody, you ask somebody a question like that, and it's kind of like you kind of you, like you could get a sense of just where they are at in their life, mentally, emotionally. Because again, law enforcement, that's the line of work. You're going to become a police officer. So you go out a year later, you and you end up killing somebody or doing some shit because, you know, mentally that's going to come back. Well, how the fuck did he get this job? He had signs before and he had, it's going to come back to every single person who spoke with him, who hired him, who was involved in his process. So that's why they do it to make sure like, look, this guy, he's emotionally stable. He's not crazy. Like we can't trust him. Everybody goes through shit. Everybody's going to go through shit in life, but it's just a matter of how you handle it and how you deal with it. And that's, that's what it was like. That's what that psyche valve was like. Um, we probably spoke for maybe, it wasn't long. It was maybe like 15 minutes. It was it was short. You know, it was a short conversation. Um, I think he also asked like about why you want to get into law enforcement. Why do you want to pursue that line of work? Um, so you just got to be ready. You just got to be prepared for it, man. Like if this is something that you want to do, if it's not going to come that difficult you just once you get your nerves out and don't overthink it it's going to be just kind of like all right like just, just go through the process that's all it is just go through the process don't you don't got to be this hero you don't got to be this macho guy you don't got to be this tough guy who you don't got to do that even when you get into the academy you don't got to be somebody who Oh, I know how to do everything. I know how to shoot. I know how to do you. You go to one of these instructors talking about how great of a shooter you are or how your dad's brother or your dad is a police officer and they did this and they're going to look at you like, who gives a fuck? Cool. Cool. You're almost about to fucking fail. So don't worry about what the fuck your family, you worry about your shit. Don't try to do too much. Just don't overthink the shit, man. Hit me up. DM. Drop a comment. Make sure you show love to the channel, though, man. Can't do it without you guys, though. Good luck. Peace.